Hello! Welcome to the Going Through Grades vlog. I am a self-taught adult beginner recorder player and I'm trying to work my way through Trinity College London's classical grades for the recorder. In the first vlog I was looking at the scales and arpeggios you need for the grade one soprano exam but today I'm on to the more exciting bit, choosing pieces. Trinity gives a list of pieces of music for you to choose from for your exam. One way of viewing the list is to head to the Trinity shop website, select which instrument you're playing, which grade you want to take, and there it will come up with a list of the books and which piece is available in each book. You need to choose three pieces of music in total for the exam, two from section A, which are supposed to be played accompanied, and one from section B, which is played unaccompanied. Now, all of these books are very tempting and I would love to buy all of them, but I'm not made of money, so I've narrowed it down to just two. I'll talk more about those two books in the next video, um, but I did end up buying a third. While I was having a little rummage about on eBay, as you do, I came across this. It's not just winners, it's winners galore. Um, it only cost a couple of quid second hand. So I bought it as a kind of wild card. To be fair, it is a bit dated, but if you do want to learn the theme for Miss Marple or Minder, then this could be the book for you. I've just called this book dated and then realised that the book is younger than I am. Weirdly enough, neither the Minder nor Miss Marple theme tune are on Trinity's syllabus, but there is one thing in here that is, and that's Elgar's Land of Hope and Glory. Edward Elgar wrote the music for Land of Hope and Glory in 1901. Then King Edward VII got himself involved, and he told Elgar that he thought it would make a good song. So for Edward's coronation the following year, words were added, and since then it's become a sort of unofficial national anthem for the UK. Now I'm trying to use this grade system as a big learning exercise, like one big method book, so I'm trying to choose pieces that give me a challenge. Now looking at Land of Hope and Glory, first off it doesn't look too difficult, but there are two things in there that I definitely struggle with. One is these long tied notes. I always end up being lazy, ending them far too early and using the time to take a big luxurious breath. And secondly, there are a few sets of these slurred um, quavers in there. I'm terrible for forgetting to stop articulating with my tongue. I tongue every note um, and I need to get my slurring under control. Apart from those two things, I don't think this one should be too bad. Tempo is only 90 beats per minute and, well, there aren't very many notes. Clearly my dog decided I needed some accompaniment. Who's noisy? You're noisy. Yes. Look. Look at the people. Well, I think that's my first piece chosen, because there's nothing like a bit of pomp and circumstance for a grade one exam. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. This is part of a series of vlogs about going through the grades, so there will be more. Hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye!